Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about memory management second video. In this video we will talk about using a table entry form how we can solve all the identified problems. What are the identified problems? Very first problem not enough memory space for run the program. Second one, there is no continuous memory allocation for run the program. Third one, more than one programs access the same memory location. So before we move into the more detail, still if you are not subscribed to my video channel, please subscribe now and don't forget to click the bell icon as well. Right, first one, not enough memory space to run the program. Fine, now let's see. You can see I have 32 bit address space. That means I have 2 to the power 32 addresses. And then you can see my physical address is 1 GB. That means I have 2 to the power 30 addresses and in the middle you can see my table entry as well as there is a hard disk and already A1 and A2 mapped into the R2 and R3. Now I am going to load A3 that's load with the R1 and then now what happened? my RAM capacity is already over but to run my program I need to access A4 as well but not enough memory space therefore that we going to store in the hard disk fine now we already saved everything properly as well as in the table we clearly map virtual address and the physical address as well and then we are going to access the memory addresses let's see the processor he wants to read a2 read virtual address a2 and in the page table entry very clearly mentioned a2 is mapped with R3 and it's directly address physical address R3 and that reference goes to the processor. Fine. Again you can see I have another requirement. The processor wants to read virtual address A4 and it's in the hard disk and it goes to the hard disk and take the value and retrieve to the processor. Now you can see even though in the memory of physical address there's not enough physical addresses available but no worry you can use hard disk. Therefore using page table entry we can map all the addresses into the physical address and hard disk address as well. Therefore, first problem is we already solved. Now let's see how we can go on to solve the second problem. Continuous memory allocation requirement for one program. Now let's see, here you can see in the red color one, it is already in the physical memory. But I need to add run program 2 as well. Now I load my program to P21 into the M1 and then P22 into M2 and then P23 into M3 as well. Now continuous memory spaces are over now, but I want to load. P24 as well. 
So what I'm doing, you can see, I'm access here and then P4 and then it's loaded with the M9. Therefore, my problem is already solved because P24 is mapped into the M9. So I no need continuous memory location because in my table entry, it's clearly mapped what is the virtual address, what is the physical address, anywhere, anytime, it can map virtual address into physical address and physical address into the virtual address as well. Fine. So everything mapped perfectly. Good problem. Have the same memory location by more than one program. Now let's see. Here, as we mentioned, we have two programs. First one is a gaming. Second one is a banking application. So, first one is a write w 1001A in 50,000. So, physical address, it's mapped by the operating system. It's done automatically. Actually, even though it is asked, you have to write into the 100, 100A, but P11 write into the 00A3B. Now value is there. Now, P2 program, bank balance, that's also asked to write you all to 10010A, but what happened? It is mapped into the 25140A. Now, you can see my problem is already solved. Even it's properly mapped which physical address into which virtual address. Therefore, same memory address is not accessed by more than one program. Now, I already sorted out all the problems. But, is there is any problem with page table? Yes, we'll see. Now, this is my operating system address space. Here you can see, I have 2 to the power 32 starting from A0 end with 2 to the power 32 minus 1 address list and that's map in page table entry. It is a huge amount. Now total number of entries is 2 to the power 32 and where it's going to store? It's going to store in the Yes, physical memory, that means RAM. So, to store such big table, I need at least 5 to 11 MB RAM. Now, problem is I have 1 GB RAM, but 5 to 11 RAM required for storing this page table entry. Now, that is a problem. Now, that is a problem. So, how are we going to solve that one? that we have a solution now you see we have a set of virtual address and we have set of physical address but we map set of value together that we call as a page that we call as a page and every page we have a page size so for example, if my page size is 4KB, that means in a one page, it can map 4096 records. Now let's see. This is my page table. So it's mapped with virtual address range and physical address range. Now let's see what I'm going to do. You can see this address range map into the this address range. Now it's starting from virtual address 0 to 4000 
95. It's mapped with physical address 4096 to 8192. And then one row shows 4096 record. Now let's see this page table again it's going to map with virtual address 4069 to 8192 and that's mapped with physical address 0 to 4095. So you can see here already you have 8192 records map with only two rows so it's need very very small amount now earlier it's need 512 mb memory portion in the ram but here you need only 100 kilobyte or something like that very small amount therefore it can easily stored in the physical memory now let's see how we do the address translation now in the address translation for example i have 32 bit operating system with 256 mb ram and page size is 4 kb now let's do what i have here i have a virtual address that is 32 bit address space that mean that is the operating system gives 32 bit address space And then I have a physical address that is 28 bit address space. How 28 bits came? Here you can see 2 to the power 8 multiply by 2 to the power 10 multiply by 2 to the power 10. That is 28 bits physical address space. And here my page size that is 12 bit. Why? Because the one page size is 4 kilobyte. 4 kilobyte means 12 bits. Now I'm going to map this virtual address 32 bit into the physical address 28 bit. Now, but in every address, that means physical address and virtual address, you have last 12 bits. How last 12 bit came is that is the page size bit. Now here Page size is 4 KB, it's need 12 bits. Now you can see the la last part of the virtual address and physical address that we call as a bit offset. Bit offset. So in the virtual address bit offset and physical address bit offset is not different, it is same. So it can find which page is refers to which page. Therefore, Virtual address page and physical address page can find using bit offset. Now what we are going to do is we are going to map this 20 bit virtual page address into the 16 bit physical page address. Altogether you have in the virtual address space you have 32 bit address space. Here physical address you have a 28 bit. All right. Now that is end with the memory management part two, and we will see you in memory management part three. And if you have any doubt, please email and below mention email address. And also, please watch it and share with your friends. And don't forget subscribe my video channel. See you soon.